Hi and welcome back to Beginner Adult Hockey. Today, just really quick, right before the season starts, I wanted to give a quick overview of how to keep your gear clean. If you are new to hockey, you do not necessarily know yet that hockey gear smells bad. No matter what you do, there is a very specific smell that your car will smell like, that your garage will smell like, that your bag and your gear is going to smell like no matter how much you wash it. So I wanted to give you some tips on how to minimize that smell at least and keep it so it's at least bearable for your teammates and for your other family members that have to live in the same house as you. All right, so number one, and I've been over this before, is just clean your hockey gear. I have two videos, which I'll link to above, but one of them is how to clean your hockey gear in the bathtub. Number two is how to clean your hockey gear in the laundry machine, the laundry machine, the washing machine. <laughs> um, because you can do both. You can't wash everything, obviously, in the washing machine. You can wash most stuff in the bathtub, but um, it takes a long time to dry, and it's, you know, it's a little bit arduous. So generally, I wash mine couple times a year in that way, but there are other things you can do to um, not wash them completely, but keep them smelling pretty good throughout the year. All right, number two, and this is stuff that you should do after every single game you play, is to wash your hockey clothing. And what I mean by that is anything that's not really your gear, anything that can go in the washing machine each time you play, like your undershirt, your um, shorts, your hockey shorts, cup, Jill, whatever you want to call it. I like to wear leggings when I play hockey, so anything like that. Definitely socks. You might want to wash your socks more than once. And anything like that that's an under thing that is washable every single time, definitely wash it every single time you play hockey. Number three, and this is really the chosen solution of my household, is that we stock up on Febreze and Lysol. Lysol is going to kill all of the germs, not all the germs, but you know, a lot of the germs, a lot more than if you didn't spray Lysol on it. And then Febreze is going to make everything smell better. I've been out playing where I'm like, oh my gosh, I smell like Febreze so bad right now. But you know what? It's better than smelling like hockey. Stock up on Febreze. We have a Febreze budget because we use Febreze so much. We have some in our car. We have some in our living room. We have some in our garage. We have some in each of our hockey bags. This will be your best friend. It works so well. I feel like they should sponsor me because they <laughs> we use so much Febreze and it seriously will be your best friend when you play hockey. All right, number four, kind of similarly, is baking soda. You can use baking soda in the same way. Lay your gear out after you get home, and this is the same for Febreze and Lysol. So you wanna get home from hockey, take all your gear out, lay it out, whether it's in your garage, in your living room, wherever your significant other allows you <laughs> to lay it out, basically, um, and spray it with that Febreze and the Lysol, or what you can do is take baking powder and kind of spread it all over. Make sure it dries completely, though, before you put it back in your bag, or it really won't have the effect that you really want it to have. All right, number five, and this is something you can do all the time, is soap. Um, and you're going to think this is in a different way than I'm about to tell you, but basically if you take a bar of soap and you put it in your hockey bag, in a dry spot, you'll want to keep it dry. When it gets wet, it's not going to do what it needs to do anymore. But if it stays dry, it's going to not only absorb some of the moisture, it's going to absorb some of the smell as well. And if you get a good smelling one, like Irish Spring, then everything will suddenly smell like that as well. Another good option is, you know, soap is fairly cheap. I don't want to tell you to go out and buy hundreds of bars of soap, but after every game, you can put a bar of soap in your boot or in your gloves or anything like that. And it really will take a lot of that moisture and a lot of that smell out of everything. All right, number six, and this is, again, taking the place of the Lysol or the baking soda, but you can use vinegar. So what you want to do is take a spray bottle, put vinegar in it, and then put one, the same amount of water in it, so one in one, and then spray your gear. And you don't want to do this too often or too much because obviously vinegar has a smell, but if you let it dry completely, that smell should kind of be diminished, and it really will help get rid of germs and get rid of the smell of your hockey gear. All right, next, and this is similar to the soap idea, but take a dryer sheet. Take a couple dryer sheets. Again, dryer sheets are cheap. Throw a couple in your bag. This is not going to be cleaning your gear. It's not going to be taking the smell away necessarily, but what it's going to do is it's going to absorb odor, and it's going to absorb some of that smell. And I've never actually smelled dryer sheets before, but they actually smell pretty good. It's going to kind of help your bag stay dry and clean and have a nice smell. It's not going to do it completely. It doesn't mean you don't need to Febreze things. It doesn't mean you don't need to wash things. But keeping dryer sheets in your bag will absolutely help kind of keep that smell at bay. The one important 
important thing to remember is that you do very much want to keep them dry. As soon as they get wet, they're really not gonna have that same effect. So if you have like an inside pocket with a netting or a meshing or anything like that, keep it in there or keep it somewhere where you think it can stay dry because again, as soon as it gets wet, it's gonna be pretty useless. But you can throw five, 10 of these in your bag at any given time, especially when it's in your garage waiting for your next game. And it will help keep everything kind of fresh and clean and smelling nice. Number eight, you've probably seen this before and had no idea what was going on, but basically sunshine is one of the best things you can do for your hockey gear. I don't know if you've ever come to a rink like during maybe on a tournament weekend and you just see gear laid over the sidewalk or on the grass or whatever outside the rink. That is because sunshine is one of the best things you can do to not only remove germs, but also remove a smell. So when you are done playing, if you have an opportunity to put it out in the sun, and I know when a lot of us play it's winter, so that you know will not help but if you can lay it out um, at, you know until it dries so an hour two hours three hours whatever it takes um, make sure it gets nice and hot and the Sun gets all over it and then it dries it that is gonna take away a ton of the smell all of the moisture of course at the moment because it will be dry and then um, you'll be able to put it back in your bag and it'll be pretty much good as new if you do have the opportunity to use the Sun in that way that's gonna be the cheapest way to keep your gear smelling nice and staying dry and clean and all that Another thing is just your undergarments again. We had talked about cleaning your undergarments, but the other thing is you can wear more undergarments. Like for instance, I wear leggings, right? Very few people wear leggings to play hockey, but for me, I feel like even though there is still sweat that's getting on my shin guards, as an example, right? It's less sweat getting on my shin guards than would otherwise, and then I can just take my leggings off and wash them. And so, um, like if you wear a long sleeve undershirt versus a short sleeve undershirt, your elbow pads won't be as gross and sweaty after each game because you're protecting them just a little tiny bit with that little extra piece of cloth. You can take your undershirt off, you can put it in the washer, and then you won't have to clean your elbow pads as much. So if you can do that, I would absolutely recommend one other thing. I do know some people who play without socks. This is a thing. It is disgusting. I agree with you. I'm just kidding. I'm not judging anybody. Um, but if you wear socks, obviously your boot, your, your skate boot is going to smell less because your foot was not right up against that boot. It still is probably going to smell because you're probably going to sweat through your socks a little bit, but it's not going to be quite the same as if you don't wear socks at all. So the more under things you can wear, obviously it gets hot when you're playing, but um, if you can wear more without getting too hot, then I would absolutely recommend it. All right, the last one, and I'm sure you're on top of this, but uh, hygiene. Very, very important to keeping your hockey gear clean. You want to make sure that after each time you play, you shower, you wash your under things, you spray or wash your gear after every time you play, you wash your undergarments, you do all the things that you can to keep everything completely clean as much as possible. And while I am a big fan of Febreze and I use it all the time, it doesn't actually clean anything. You do want to make sure that you're cleaning things with Lysol or with that vinegar or anything like that. Um, Febreze will keep that smell away and that's really, really important, but you want to make sure that you're also killing the germs because that's going to be the root of everything, including on your own body, right? Like you, you know that you shouldn't wear socks more to more than one game. However, you should also be washing your feet because then you don't want to get that to the next pair of socks, things like that. So Obviously in tournament weekends is going to be a little bit different. We've all been there where you bring one undershirt and you have three games in a day and you just pray that it's going to dry before you have to put it back on. Um, and that's okay because that's not an all the time occurrence. And then I hope that you'll go home and clean everything after that. But even in that situation, bring three undershirts. Of course, none of us ever think to bring three undershirts, but that is a situation where you do have control over it. So just think about your hygiene, keep your hygiene good because that's going to keep all your gear much cleaner all the time. So that was just a short list of some things you can do to keep your gear from smelling because I know especially if you're new to hockey that it is uh, quite the surprise when you get that hockey bag in your car for the first time and you're like what just happened here. So use some of these tips. I'm also going to post a link below with all these tips in a blog post format so that you can read them and, and kind of see them and everything like that. Don't forget to subscribe below and like this video and as always let me know if you have ideas for other videos. Thanks.